This is part two of um, the video on enum type demo. And what I want to do is show some, some tricky points about dealing with enums that you just have to be aware of. Um, first of all, let's, let's see if this program runs. This is a continuation of the last program. And so we do have fall, winter, spring, and summer being printed out. Those are the enum types being printed out by this uh, for loop and then I have a switch statement in here so let's comment out the uh, for loop so we'll start here and go down to here okay so let's actually go up here and um, actually inside here and let's declare an int value integer x is equal to and uh, let's say uh, let's x is equal to season of year plus x well, let's say x is x plus Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to take whatever the current season of the year is and we're going to add it into x and x is 0. So the first value is fall for season of year. So we should have actually 0 plus 0 and it should still be the value of 0. So let's actually print this out to see what happens. value okay so let's try this and actually see what happens ah, season of year is zero uh, what if I change to uh, say zero one two um, say spring let's go to spring okay and we should get a uh, so uh, 0, 1, 2. And if I change the value and I want to start at uh, fall being, by default, fall is 0 if you don't declare it to be any other or assign any other value to it. Uh, so what if I want to start out with the number 1? So I want 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's see if uh, when we print out the <coughs> season of the year, which will be uh Spring, let's see if spring is actually three this time. So we get a season of year three. So um, now we, the, the thing about uh, this assignment is this is perfectly legal inside of C++ because um, the way this season, this enum type is stored, um, this variable season um, it takes on values uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In this case, 1, 2, 3, one, two, three or 4. And um, so we, you can actually use this um, value inside of a statement like x plus season of year. And this is integer plus integer, and it's assigned into the integer variable x. Um, but what you cannot do is something like the following. Um, by the way, this is implicit. Uh, this is going to be some implicit code. Um, coercion right here uh, where um, co conversion explicit conversion so uh, the value uh, season of year is going to be converted from f spring in this case into the value 3 and 3 is then added to 0 and then you're going to get the value 3 is put into X alright so what about if we want to try to assign a value of an integer? Suppose I wanted to print out summer, and I want to say, um, let's say, uh, season of year is equal to season of year plus, uh, I don't want to print out summer, so I'll say plus one. 
So uh, I'm thinking that the uh, season of year is going to take on a value. It has a value of three right now, spring. And then we're just going to add one to it to try to get summer. And let's see what happens. Okay. We get an error right here. Um, the error message says invalid conversion from int to seasons. <clears throat> so uh, what's going on is you cannot uh, do integer addition and then store that value into uh, season of year. Season of year can only take on values of fall, winter, spring, and summer. It is a seasons uh, type. Uh, we've set this up as an enumeration, and the type is uh, season, and the variable name is season of year. And season of year can take on the value fall, winter, spring, summer. Now, uh, C++ stores the value uh, when it takes on spring. It stores it in its memory bank as a 1, 2, 3, as a 3. But we cannot legally assign ourselves, assign a value of 3 to this spring, for example, we can't uh, to the season of year. Pardon. So we can't say uh, season of year is equal to old value of season of year plus one, which is this is integer addition right here. And then we're trying to assign the value of four to the season of year, and four is not one of these valid data types. So uh, when you start first working with uh, enum types. Uh, you may think that you can uh, do this particular operation right here, which is totally illegal um, uh, because it doesn't follow the uh, rules. So um, this one, again, is okay because this is an integer plus an integer being stored into an integer, being assigned to the integer x. So this is perfectly okay uh, inside of C++, but this one is illegal. Okay. Um, let's see, did I cover everything? Uh, one more thing is um, if we wanted to print out uh, the season of year, um, we could do a C out. Uh, let's see, season of year. Uh, let's change this variable x to actually uh, season of year. And let's see what happens. Okay, so um, the season of year is defined as being spring, and we want to print out the season of year to actually see what, what's going on. Um, I hope we can get the spring to print out uh, because it says spring, and uh, we're going to just comment this out. Let's just see what happens here in this, uh, in this line. Uh, let's see if we get our season of year, which is spring. Let's see if we see, get the word spring, and let's try to run that and see what happens. Well, uh, we get a three, and so um, the reason we get a three is that we have fall is one, spring is winter is two, and spring is three. So you can print out the value that is stored inside the memory cell, which is uh, the value three has been assigned to season of year, but in order to print out that value of spring, you're going to have to do something a little bit different. And in fact, um, down here, let's see, let's comment that out. Uh, in fact, let's just cut all that out. Integer, let's cut all of that. We don't need that. Um, right in here, what we've done is, uh, what I've done is, and I showed this on the last video, uh, what I did is, um, took the season of year, I'm going to start with uh, fall, and we're going to go through a for loop and uh, we're going to grab the, val the current value of season of year, in this case it starts out with fall, and uh, we're going to use a switch statement, and it, whatever the season of year happens to be, um, we are going to uh, use that value and then we're going to actually print out a string, a literal, str literal string value to print out our year, uh, our time of year. <clears throat> so uh, let's try this and see if it works. Uh, okay, I need to get another comment. <laughs> let's 
find it. Oh, I don't think. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's try it again. Okay, there we go. Winters, uh, fall, winter, spring, summer. And um, one more thing. This is a, a subtle point. Uh, once you are done with this loop, um, the last time the iteration goes through, season of year is updated one more time. When it's updated to five, then five is uh, greater than or is greater than summer. So the loop does not run. However, your season of year is out of bounds at this point, but it's not a big deal because it's not going to uh, do anything right now. But if you wanted to use this season of year value again, um, you're going to have a little trouble. So it's a good idea once you're done with that loop um, to decrement, which is uh, take that value uh, back to uh, back down by one. And um, uh, so the way I can take that value down by one is take this static cast, okay? And once my loop is done, I want to go outside the loop. Actually, I have to go here. Uh, the for loop ends here, and what I'll do is um, I'll have to do. is equal to, and we're going to do that static cast again, seasons, and we're going to take season year, we're going to subtract one this time, <clears throat> instead of adding one, and that should uh, put our seasons of year back into the uh, one, two, three, or four uh, area, and that's just, um, again, that's just to get it back, uh, back in bounds. Um, it pretty much uh, wraps it up um, just for just some extra little tips on how to deal with enums. Um, hope this video was helpful.